do you think you are doing? How dare you stand on the part of the four gods? The four gods of which I am one of. Just like every other man, does my son not deserve another chance? He does not deserve another chance. For he has led a lot of people to their early grief and to their chin. He does not deserve another chance. I pray to Osabrua to grant him another chance. And they did. <laughs> Well, let us watch and see how this comes out. <laughs> A cheat like your son cannot escape home. The final destination of mankind. Never! <laughs> OBDK the fearless. OBDK the most powerful. OBDK the deliverer. When the gods chose to walk amongst men, they chose OBDK. Why do you sound as if you were beaten by Itoro, the foolish ant? Those were the words on the lips of all the maidens of Umwike Kingdom today. Did you save them from the hands of the Ayaka warriors only to prove of your prowess? They came at me first. I had to beat them up in self defense. Beat them up. I see. So you beat them up. Now it is obvious that you never wanted to take heed of any of my warnings. Obedeke, have you forgotten who those warriors are? Have you forgotten who Ayaka warriors are and what they are capable of doing? I can see you want all of us dead. Truthfully speaking, I do not know why the men of this land are so afraid of Ayaka warriors. I am Obidike, son of the gods. <gasps> Should people live in bondage because you have failed to rise against the challenges before you? Rather, you choose to be in your heart, in fear, and expose the maidens. Obidike, Obidike, you are special. We are not like you. But do not speak ill of us, because the gods graced you with the gift of strength. Obideke, we are not asking for much. We are not asking for too much. All we request from you is to let us live for one more day. Let the air in our lungs last just for one more day. I've heard you. Next time I will not get involved. Where is Masinachi?
my beloved. You must have journeyed through the night for you to be here this early. Why didn't you wait for the sun to return from its journey? My soul left me the moment I had your act of folly with the Ayaka warriors. I had no option than to hurry back immediately, not minding the spirit that guides the night. You called my act of saving those maidens for cowardice. I am Mobidike, son of the gods, Mbudike Atuegu. An eye that cannot look at the sun and the flame at the same time. It's obviously an eye that cannot last forever. I see foolishness and cowardice in the depth of the men of this land. I, Obidike, cannot be foolish. Never. You may think of them so. But this act of foolishness is what has kept their names amongst the living. A dead lion is better than a living lamb. The gods knows that we must live. My wife, let us not discuss what the gods knows already here. This is the very first time a man from this kingdom rises up to defend us. Obedike did not just defend us, but he also humiliated the people of Ayaka Kingdom. <sighs> now I know why my father do call him son of the gods. See, we the people of Omike should not take this for granted. Yes, we should go and appreciate him for standing up for us. He's a normal team. You are right. You need to see how furious OBDK, my husband, was when he learned I collected those gifts from those people. Same people he saved. You are accepting the gifts. Gifts that came from people that he saved. People that came to celebrate him. I thought he wanted to be their hero. Why, why is he furious over you accepting their gifts? Why? Where is he? By the gods, I do not know. He left with his friends this morning. Sad the whole place. You cannot withhold the breaking of the dam. Bakanaya Mozo. Mozo Yana. We have a lot of food and a on the moor. It's in a bowl. We I'm more quick or Warriors of Ayaka Kingdom, what do you seek in the abode of the son of the gods? Our king, Igwe Ezago summons you to the palace. By the gods. He is your king, not mine. Go and tell him that I am too busy to grace him with my presence. Don't misuse the powers given to you by the gods, you son of Nubes. The 
Niru Niru Kana Woke. Leave my presence. Leave. Haya 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 Did you bring me here to witness the sufferings of those who've killed their parents? I forgive you, insolence. The master said you'll be useful. What's your name? He's called Obidike, son of Ndebeze. The offspring of the gods, my lord. He is the son of Anyangwututu, goddess, the son. Yes, my lord. The master said you will be very useful. See, together, both of us will rule the whole world. Overwhelm it! With your strength and gift, combined with my wisdom and resources, both of us will be the richest in this whole face of the earth. I do not understand. I know your father. In fact, I know your parents. Your father was the poorest man in Umwike. Not minding that you, who he was married to the 
great test. Goddess. Do you want to end up like him? Do you? All these are for you, my friend. What are they for? Well, let's say for coming all the way from Umike to grace me with your presence. I cannot take them. Of a truth, I, I can see that poverty actually runs in your vein, in your lineage. Neri, he's taking too long in coming back. Are you sure they've now killed him? Did I hear you say kill him? Did you say kill Obidike? No mortal or no spirit can kill Obidike. Obidike can only die for Seproa, the creator of the heaven and earth, or Ani, the custodian of the earth, wants him to die. Obidike can never be killed by any person. Relax, Masinachi. Obidike will return. Okay, then why is it taking too long? Huh? Ma, I can see you don't know the husband you married. Obidike will soon return. Very soon, he will be in your bosom. Relax, Masinachi. Your Highness, were you able to meet him? Yes. Yes. Yes, I did. But it was difficult. I've never said he would be easy to get. Because a man of his caliber must come at a high cost. His Highness, cultivate him. In non distant time, you get him. How long have you been with him? I was born a slave. My mother was pregnant of me when she got kidnapped and was brought to the camp. What about your mother? Dead. She happened to find favor in the sight of our Lord, Igwe Zago. He treated her very well. But one day, she developed cold and couldn't make it. She died. What about you? I am Isido. I was taken from my father nine seasons ago. And when my father protested, they killed him. Are you going to work with him? He 
is evil and wicked. Sidu, watch your mouth. Allow me to voice my mind. My lord, I was scared they might hurt you. Obideke, your wife was deeply worried. She was so worried, but I told her that except if the son will not return to Gualoma, that is when you will be the kid that I know will not return to her bosom. I know you will return. I raised myself to fight them. But they offered me their friendship. Look at all the gifts they gave to me for coming to see him. Did you say friendship? Friendship, how? We must go now. The sun is getting ready to set in. Why don't you tarry? Tomorrow you return to your master. No, my lord. Let them go. Um, the night is always dark and dangerous. I, I will advise you stay. Eh? Eh, Obideke. I'm not yet married. They can stay with me. Thank you. But we must go. I choose to stay. Did you hear? Listen to your friend and stay. What exactly does Igwe Izugu want from He wants me in his army. He so much desire my special powers. He wants you in his army. So you can help him raid our land. <laughs> Umike is my kingdom. And I cannot invade Umike. Never. Nor allow the warriors of Ayaka Kingdom to invade Umike. Never. Do you think he will not accept to attack us if you fail to do as he says? Igwezago has no option. When you follow a boot, then follow our own demo. You get an abonable. Ubuji Buago. He has no option. I 
I would talk to him. I would only do that if you will allow me to travel down in secret tonight. Sure you can. Okay. What is on your mind? Say it. Greetings to you, Ndiri. No need to ask how your night was. Because I bet with the gods that you did not close an eyelid. I can see that the both of you have suddenly turned seers. Well, the bad news is that I will never come to your abode for the mission. My beautiful one, please, my bowels are very empty. Can I get something to eat? I know. Just sit, let me get you something to eat. Have they gone back? They left at the first crew of the cock. So, what was on your mind? I bet you want to get every of the details. We'll see it, <laughs> and I'll give you that. Obidike, you talk as if you don't know me again. She was nothing special from all other maidens I feasted on. She was not special. At least she pleased you, right? Uh, she did. I know she did. But I just took pity on her. And now you are talking like my father or my mother. Why will you always want to paint me black? The question is, will you do it for me or not? Well, I will do it only if you agree to have her under your roof as a woman. There he goes. There he goes again, always making me look bad. Must I always look bad? Daily at Wegu, let me ask you one question. Are you not old enough to have a woman under your roof? Are you not? Greetings, great warrior. This is a gift from our king, Igwe Zago. What about your friend, Isudo? She's no
Why exactly did our king kill Isidu? Olaku, you better shut up and mind your business. Or do you want to end up like Isidu? Remember, tomorrow you have works to do for me. You go to the farm, clear the grass, and get some firewood so you can cook. So go get me water to drink. Who are you, stranger? You are a fool that you think you can kill me. Masinachi. Has he returned? It's been three nights now. And no one has heard anything about him. Um, do not worry. Obidike shall return. Huh? Wherever he is, I know he is safe. He will return. Derry, I worry not about him alone. What about me? Do you know how I feel? Masinachi, I know that your heart is heavy. But Obidike will return. Even the sun, the air that we breathe, the wind knows that he will return. In no time, he will return to you. Go, oh? Inugo. <laughs> Mission accomplished. They are all dead. Great. That's good. One more thing, one more assignment. I, there is just one more assignment. Not now. I have to be home. My wife must be worried about my whereabouts.
How is your friend, Delhi? I do not joke with my friend in Delhi Atuegu. If anything happens to him, I will wipe everyone that makes you happy in this kingdom. Why does greed always play an important role in the lives of men? Why? It's the nature of men. Nature of men. Nature of men. that killing those men were much easier than cutting down trees. Not minding that they are people's father and husband. This is This is not, this is not okay. What happened to his nobility? 
what happened to his pure heart. The heart that always wants to help. Why, why, why this sudden quest for riches? I miss the man he used to be. Ma. Ma, he killed her. He killed her only because he got the wind that she allowed me to cultivate in her farmland just for one night. So my husband said, but in there, why did you do it? Even when her fellow maid turned you down, you should have allowed them be. I know I should have. I know I should have let them be. But my nature was calling me. And you know how these things are. I, I could not hold myself. And, and, and she consented to it. I did not force her. Ndiri, you just have to be very careful. From what I heard, that king is a very wicked man. And he might not be happy that you cultivated on what he rested. The great warrior of Umuike Kingdom. I greet you and your chi for bestowing on you the strength of the gods. You are a great man. You must be Ugumba. Ugumba of Umuibawa. Yes, you are right. I know why you came seeking for me. A certain king has paid you to kill me. run to the end of the world. Obidike, no matter where I run to, I know you definitely find me. So why is the essence of running? I'm not in a hurry to die. To go back and meet my chief. Come to think of it, once you work for your man, who will order you around? Go where he wants you to go. Find whoever he wants you to find, kill whosoever he wants you to kill, Obidike. Such life is not befitting for a man with the gift of the curse, like you. Please, accept my offer. Accept it and spare my life for me. Four market days that makes up the existence of man. In it, you were gone. Without anybody knowing your whereabouts. Take a look. A certain man gave them to me for sparing his life.
these are nothing than just of a dust kind. That will soon be forgotten. A pond that dreamed to become a river will always carry the shame of a pond. My husband, please stop. Your gifts were given to you by the gods to use for good, not to send men to their energy. Making the grave richer. Next time you speak to me in that manner, I shall cut off your head. Be gone! It's obvious that your chi has decided to keep me in abject poverty. Perpetual poverty. But I will not allow that happen. Never. By shedding people's blood, knowing the fact that you are an immortal. I was gifted by the gods. They stood upon me their strength. I will use it and use it very well. Your Majesty, I must return to my kingdom. All right. I do hope you were able to get everything you came to seek. In my kingdom. Yes, I did. And even more. Thank you for your generosity. All right. All right. That's okay. Um, may the gods lead you safely back to your place. Easy. Thank you, Your Majesty. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Your Majesty. single-handedly beat up the Ayaka warriors when they captured us. And because Obidike saved us, we would have known what could have happened to us. Huh. Obidike is this strong, but why hasn't he come and fought for us all this while? Maybe because he likes staying on his own. In whichever way, I am grateful to him for saving us. I suggest we go see him with some gifts. That's a good idea. Because it will help him motivate and fight for us. That's true. You spared his life. Why? As a merchant of war, first come, first serve. The highest bidder. You insult me, Obidike. Even the wind changes its course when Noseburoa dictates. You said my father died of poverty. I am here to gather every wealth in which way necessary. So, why do you see that as an insult? The spirit of your father will be proud of you. You've broken the shackles of poverty of your generation. Gracious to your chi, for what they denied you in strength, they gave you in wisdom. You still owe me, OBDK. Give me a name, and I will end his journey on this world. Send him down to Owu, the final resting place of mankind. I've given you a name already. Musumba. 
has made you rich all these seasons. Please. Why do you like to walk in the path of poverty? Why? Instead of you concentrating on giving me a child, you devote your time on my activities. How can I carry your seed when you no longer touch me or even make me feel like a Enough! Child? led you to the worst part of <coughs> your life, Obidike, the son of the morning sun. I am Uzuama, <coughs> cost to the man on whose sword <coughs> I fall. begins the end of Ubidike, son of Undubweze, offspring of the gods. Loveliest of all maidens. Early morning sun and the lilies must be jealous of your impeccable beauty. You look burdened, the loveliest one. What troubles you? Call me not your lady. For OBDK, my husband will not take it lightly if he hears of it. Your heart is pure. You think highly of him. But I wonder why 
he always ridicule you before his numerous concubines. You speak with false tongue. Obidike, my husband, can never cheat on me. I said it earlier. Your heart is pure. But I do not know the extent you still trust him when I show you this. Show me what? Then follow me. Come back and hold me close to his strong bosom. The gods did not just bless him with the strength to fight, but his manhood also speak of his might. Hmm. The one I don't understand is why Masnachi will not appreciate the gods in him. He said that Masnachi smells like a rotting orange when he wants to feast on her. That's why he loved to cultivate on our vineyard. Hmm. He confided in me that once he returned from his victory, he will make us his wives and throw Masnachi out of his house. has given me to you to make you happy. Easy, warrior. Easy. Ah. Did the season of the locusts begin in your dreams? Easy. 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 When did you get here? Not quite long. You bleed, warrior. By the course. This is supposed to be a dream. If it is a dream, then the locusts have started feasting on your barn. The vultures strike on the portrait of the carcass. Why am I not healing? Why? Because you have been poisoned by the gunpowder of Oniru. Who are you? Because your words come with strange meanings. Look above your head and see that the words I speak are nothing but the truth. Easy. Uh, <clears throat> easy. By the gods. Gods of Umike. Gods of Umike Kingdom.
I thought the darkness of Umuchawa has fallen on you that you no longer come as promised. I was delayed by the news I heard. And what else did you gather that made you not to come in lane with me? That your husband, Obedike, is returning. Seem not pleased. How can I be pleased when I pray to the gods by the day for him to be slaughtered in the battlefield? Yet he comes back more victorious. Izu, can you please kill him for me? I offer a great warrior like you. Okay. I will help you carry your armor. My armor? Yes, your armor. Thank you. This is back to life. Can I take some more? Do not finish my water. So, where are you journeying to? You ask questions like a fool. to see that this is great Obidike, son of the gods. Oh, may the gods be praised. How can I believe that my eyes will want to set on a great warrior like you? We only hear of your exploits. How am I to believe that one day I will drink from your water jug? I bless this day. and detest him because of his pride and arrogance. He always thinks that Osebro had created his chi special from us. But you know I'm not a match for his strength. Obidike is gifted with the strength of a thousand men. I trying to kill him is an impossible task. You speak of impossibility when the earthworm strives without legs. For the earthworm thrives with the help of the rain. For they cannot thrive on their own without it. Mma, Mma, how do you expect me to kill a man that even the spirits are afraid of? Obono obora uno kuono. Makana woke na karibia.
of the fight is Akwaka Kingdom. With just a strike from your sword. Don't you have a name? You didn't ask. From your sword. For no one receives answers to questions. Please speak to me in that manner one more time. Um, I shall cut you. What is your name? I am great warrior. What is your name? Tell me your name. Do you want the truth? Or should I tell you what you want to hear? Of course I want the truth. Then the truth. My name is Man. Nonsense name is that. Tell me your name, speak! I already said it. My name is Man. I thought all men were foolish. But you are the worst of them all. Stupidity is when the cockroach decides to feast on the barn of a mother hen. For its flesh will not be enough to feed the chicks. Obidike is a demigod. Asking me to go and face him in a combat is as well as telling me to go and commit suicide. Ojaki Abu and Wuru Garande Mo. I have a plan on how to kill him. Izu, will you help me kill him? Let me hear your plan and see if it will be possible. I will tell you. But first, my wrist is heavy. I want you to come make me feel like a woman. I, I am so sorry. I, I must have been worn out. I'm sorry. But by the gods, what is a beautiful maiden doing all alone in this path? You could be hurt by the Marudas. I was actually on a journey with my father to Ezioque. But unfortunately, we were attacked by the Marudas, including our slaves. I just managed to escape. Tragedy. Tragedy. Mm. Follow me. You can never be safer. Why should I follow you? I don't even know you. How am I sure you're not among them? How can I be amongst them? I am Obidike, son of the gods. Obidike. Oh, 
Oh, I bless the gods. I bless the gods. How would I have known that one day I would run into you? The almighty will be the key. I, I greet you. I will go with you. Yes. Follow me, beautiful maiden. I will. I'm still scared of this your point. What if it fails? You know BDK will definitely feed our our carcass to the vultures. I am sure we will succeed. For the gods are with us. Please get me something to eat. For the concern with us, I know you're chin as on as upon my way. I'm tired. I'm tired. I can't walk anymore. Please. My leg hurts and my throat bones. I need water to drink. I'm tired. I'm, I'm very tired. Let us walk a little bit further. There is a shed ahead of us. Follow me, beautiful lady. Mm. see a stream. Fetch some water so she will quench her thirst. Can I break water with you? Say what is on your mind. Great warrior. This is just for your ears alone. Fall for the cheap tricks of the gods. What do you mean? She is not a friend for you to keep. I advise you to know where you belong. Run to the stream and do what I asked you to. Run. My name is Ozonye Ridike, but my friends call me Oso. So 
sorry. I know it hurts badly. Sorry. Take me. I have always prayed to the gods to give me a strong man like you. A man who would take my womanhood. You can have me. Here's the water. Can we go now? This place is not safe to be by night. Right. We can't go. My leg still hurts. Besides, I still need to rest. Please. Great one. Please. Can we go? Send him away. We can be by ourselves tonight, just alone. Tell him to go. Great warrior. A vulture always wishes to kill what it eats. But its gods always denies it that. Please, let us go. What were you trying to do? Why did you try to tell him who I was? What do you even stand to gain? Because that is what I do. You stand here and look at me like you do not recognize me. Well, that is because I do not recognize you. Although you look familiar, but I cannot remember you. Uzonyiridike, the goddess of deceit. You must be rusty these days. Meaning? Well, it is I, the man. The spectator? Man, the eye that sees everything. Yes, I knew you were familiar, but I wasn't expecting to see you so soon. Well, do yourself a favor. Stay away from my path. Obidike has been judged by the four gods of the four living creatures. Stay away from my path. He deserves to die. Like your bed. My work is to watch and announce the rise and fall of great ones. We are close to the border of my land. Let us walk. What do you gather? He's nearer to me, okay? You should say he's drawing nearer to his death. Are you sure you want to do this? Obidike is your husband. He is not my husband. He has never seen me as one. He only sees himself and his numerous victories. What is the choice you propose fully made? A choice made in ignorance. Not knowing what lies beneath it. You want to kill Obidike? Even when Oseborowa has never called him back to his chi? Obidike is not fit to be amongst the living. I can feel the land of my birth, my fatherland. <laughs> mm. Mm. 
It's been long I left to conquer the world of men and the spirits. Obidike! <laughs> Uzo! Yes. By the time we get to my abode, I shall tell you tales of my many victories. I cannot wait. My ears have been itching to hear your great tale, then, my great warrior. Less hasty. <laughs> then, less hasty. Ah! Uh, are, are you hot? Are you hot? Just a scratch. Let me see, please. Here. 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 Ah. Don't worry. Ah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. When we get you aboard, I will prepare herbs that will help you suit your wound. Okay? Sorry. I am Mobidike, <laughs> son of the gods. and spirits. You are here playing Kotsan. Who was that man? You ought to me. Who was that man? Who was that man that was with you? His name is Izu. He's from Umu. He's my nephew. He came to see you. He came to see me. Get to me. to see me. Are you called? I'm sorry, the great Obidike. I didn't notice your coming. And I ask, what are you called? My name is Izuana Baradike. But in Umonkama, where I come from, they call me Izu. Izuana Baradike. Yes. Tell me. Yes. You know, Munkama, what do your people say of me? You know, Munkama, where I come from. It's only someone whom the sun rises permanently at his doorstep. We think that you are not the greatest human created by your Sebloa in our time. And I bless the God of our ancestors for giving me the grace to behold your presence. When the dry season returns. I shall pay your people a visit. And I will pray to the gods not to bring dusk. For us never to cease to behold your presence. Mm. 
Van the spectator. I only see you. The four gods of the four living creatures must be so bent on destroying Obidike. He is a cheat. He has cheated both humans and spirit. And so shall his life be cheated from him. I shall be watching. I'm a mean ele. His tree is always fighting for him. He came back with some friends. They are not friends, but folks. Worry not, lovely one. Your wish shall soon be granted. My lips will not thank the gods enough when I will behold his demise. Failed your chi, and they have abandoned you. Your gift and strength was given to you to serve Umike Kingdom. But you became arrogant and proud. My son, you turned yourself into a merchant of death. Cheated many of their lives. There's still time for you to make amends. Let me tell you the history of your strength. We cannot continue to sit down and act as if there's cobwebs in our eyes. While our daughters and our sons are constantly taken away by the warriors of Anyaka Kingdom and sold into slavery. We must do something. So what do we do? What do we do? I propose a truce. Let us propose a truce of loyalty. Let us agree with them to give them a certain number of people every season. And I think it will solve the problem. That will never happen. Did you hear me? I said that will never happen. Is this why you called me? I thought this meeting was meant for us to sit together and find a solution to this. I don't understand what we are saying. Is that not what we are doing? Or do you have a better proposal than what I have just said? What better proposal? What have you said? Let me tell you. It is only when an eagle becomes a mother hen with a cockerel that I will live to see this abomination happening this land. Keep quiet! Keep quiet! Mr. President, I said keep quiet! Keep quiet! Keep you have no right to utter such words in this matter. They turn gam with
Fear not, son of Ikeduba. I am Anya Mututu, goddess of the sun. I have come to dwell with you. Welcome to my abode, goddess of the sun. You have a pure heart. A man carries a sorrow in his heart. I'm a kid then, and would do good. On a tepamaka to Fanya Media, she would do good. My heart is bitter. Very, very bitter. And in the ancient deity, has seen your tears. Out of your loins will come a man who will save this kingdom. Come. Come with me, son of Ikeduba. Come. Elders of whom we came. That's a fun what brings you to my heart this morning? Uh, we saw a fair lady around your heart yesterday. And we believe that she will be inside of your heart. Go and bring her out so that we can take her to the king of Anyaka. But adventure, we may find favor in his sight through her. And he will stop disturbing us. I that is why we have come. I should go and bring her out. Bam. I am afraid you speak like one who did not suck her mother's breast. In Palawan Bay. Oh, don't insult us. Go in there and bring her out. After all, all of us in this village have given either a son or a daughter mm -hmm. to the people of Anyaka. Mm -hmm. And what have you given? You have not given anything. Nothing. I don't think I am supposed to have given anything. I am afraid what you people gave was the path you chose to walk on. I did not agree with you. And yet you believe for me. Go and bring her out, Pastor Kennedy. Oh. She's too fair to be with you. Go and bring her out. When what is greater than the beetle enters his nest, he does not say, I am not. No. You will have to spill my blood before you lay your hand. Yeah. Okay. My fellow elder, let us go. It seems he wants his blood spilled before he brings her out. And that is what he will see. Let us go. Odogua broke an Odogua broke an I'm 
No one above Feke. Can I know? We're not to board the Guaca. Malife. Malife. I once told you that the lizard's law for a cat cow does not make it owner. I'm going to give my little friend. Yes, she's fair and beautiful. Yes, it will please our Lord to take her to bed. Let's take her! Will you seek to withhold the sun from rising when the dawn arrives? Ayaka warriors, my advice. Return to your king and have your life spared. You will as fair as you are. You have a large mat full of sorrows. Come with us. Yes. And your mass life will be spared. Yes. <laughs> Find your path like Indubeza did. Seasons upon seasons, elders of Umike kept supplying people to Ayaka Kingdom. It is time for you to find your path and save your life. Osebeloa. And in the ancient deity, and all the four gods of living creature have found you guilty of death. Obidike, my son. Offspring of the gods. Make amends and leave. Thank you, Mother. I shall make amends. OBDK is the greatest man that has ever walked on the surface of the earth. Why make his earth so weak and unbearable? He is a cheat, and so will his life be cheated away from him. Has she gone to fetch the men of Ayaka? You must have sown your seed in Master Nachi that made her set to sell him to Ayaka Kingdom. I already saw the seed of hatred in her. But I'm worried because of the sun. But I'm worried because of the light that surrounds Obidke's body. Must be getting help from his mother. I am not to Speak. What do you have for us? My mother once told me that Udara tree is sweet when it falls without imprint. I have that which you desire. Which is? Obidike, he has gone on a long sleep. Come quickly, you will have him. Be sure that there is no deceit in your words. I hope it's not the truth. He's my husband. And I want him dead. Son of the soil. Yeah. 
offspring of the God, yeah. right in his vein, yeah. is the strength of a thousand, yeah. born immortal, yeah. strong and mighty, yeah. OBDK, yeah. Yeah. OBDK, yeah. Yeah. who are you? Fear not, Ibeka, for you do not have much time. Who are you and who told you my name? This is not time for questions. Please go inside and take him before he wakes. What do you think you are doing? How dare you stand on the part of the four gods? The four gods of which I am one of. Just like every other man, does my son not deserve another chance? He does not deserve another chance. For he has led a lot of people to their early grave and to their chain. He does not deserve another chance. I prayed to Sabrua to grant him another chance. And they did. <laughs> well, let us watch and see how this comes out. A cheat like your son cannot escape hope. The final destination of mankind. Never! <laughs> What did they do to him that made him lie in this state? Whatever they did to him, it is our lost game. It would be a great pleasure to me to be the one to chop off his head. And I'll be happy to see the head grow back. <laughs> <laughs> Where 
you one of them that was sent to bring to my end? I am man. I watch and announce the rise and fall of great ones. I'm end the slavery. I am Moby Dick, son of the gods. Gankuan Gandhi. My husband. I know you're hot. But you have to move on, my husband. <laughs> Now it begins, the end of terror. Posted to strategic points in this kingdom, at the entrance of this kingdom. Obidike is no longer what he used to be. I asked Obidike to kill Obioma. But we know that anybody that kills Obioma is cursed by the gods. And Obidike's end is near. You lie. You lie. You lie. The gods have given me another chance to live. And this time to end your reign. Obidike. Obidike. Whoever that tangles with Obioma is cursed by the gods. You are cursed! I am not just anyone! I am Obidike! I was born by the goddess of the sun. The ghosts! Do not forget theirs! I shall bring you down. Come on! Kill him! Kill him! What are you waiting for? I told you! Ah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no! I shall kill you with my bare hands! No, no! no. Abedika, 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 please. Everything I have, I'll give you. Everything I have, I'll give you. I am Abedika, son of the gods. Do you think he will survive it? I don't think he will. <laughs> Why don't we wait and see what happens afterwards? Why do you so much desire my end? Why? Obidike, a man like you do not deserve to walk amongst men. But my Chi and Oseburoa thought it wise to give me a second chance to write my part. Then I do not have anything left to do in the land of Omoto. Obidike, son of the gods, I hope our paths do not cross again on a bad foot. against spirits stronger than you are. I have conquered King Ezago. I have ended slavery in my land. Slavery has come to an end! Oh, <laughs> kingdom.
Son of the gods. Son of the soil. 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 Son of the soil